Hi guys, today we are going to see how to create a photo manipulation design in Photoshop. So first you go to the description link, uh, description and I have posted in the source file and support file in description link. So just download it and extract it for your usage. So first you should take the uh, plain windows. So first of all, that, all the before you will first create the artboard just create it i have designed for the phone design um, 9 18, 19 20 into 1080 so first take the window plain window and place it so first uh, go to the layer and right click it and convert to the resize layer and again right click it convert to the smart object Okay, now it's good. So here you can see here it's a sky view. So for, we are we manipulate by the processing the layers by layer. We remove the skies and place into underwater. So okay. So you do you understand what you going to do? now you need to separate the wind, pa wind panel so just select it with the path uh, or it looks like a path to, if you don't uh, take it too much time for your edit just to uh, select the wand tool or magic anything but it's not a uh, perfect for your edit so just I am choosing a yeah, path tool because it's not uh, correctly appear in your particular areas. So I just do a path. So, so easy. Okay. little bit moment do it okay now done okay done it's now the separate and select it and mask it so such so can invest invest the selection just control shift i so it can uh invest the selection now mask it so it's the panel will be separated so now we go, go to the support files and take the dolphin image and paste in the mask area click ok right click it and resize layer as well as well as you do in the previous tutorials or previous steps also that's why for what why you just right click it and do the same thing for all the layers because of you are putting from one play, local place to the uh, P, uh, photoshop so it was uh, like a clip uh, linked image so if you transform the layer it may be affected the pixels so just why you right click it and this so now you can stretch it it will be elaborated easily so now create a clip mask and begins just begin the pen so now size it as we size mm, okay good just replace it and let it pick up okay cool now you can see here uh, the sea water is blue but the wind panel sunshine is a uh, dog red so now what you do to match these colors just create a one empty layer and Pick the color from the eyedropper tool from the image of dolphin 
and fill it and go to the blend mode to normal to color for the paint it's for the paint simple and create a clip mask so it's easily uh, convert to the uh, red is to blue so but it's too much so it's a little bit reduce the opacity a little bit so now it's now it's okay done uh, but it's also too much of dark blue but it's a uh, light blue so the same thing for this to try uh, just to hold the alt and drag in the layer for the duplicate create the same right click it and create a mask for the dolphin but this time uh, go to the blend mode uh, instead of color for uh, your use diff different so it may be a little bit wider so just like uh, which one suitable for it color so yeah, the same thing color it's good so now it's almost matchable colors the wind panel and the dolphin and the seal colors also in one theme so light blue color so now it's cool now we need to more uh, uh, layers adjustment for looking realistic so uh, we need to give some depth just by adding the begin the image of the dolphins so i just added in the files in dolphin bst just drag it in so you can see here i have many dolphins by the png format so just take it anything anyone and paste here and resize it as you wish click ok and right click it and go into the smart object now go to the filter and blur gaussian blur so if you are playing gaussian blur you can see if you the some ob if you can see in the real some object it will be too long it will be little blur okay that's why we are applying here gaussian blur basic thing but it's not fit for this background so just go to the blend mode and color luminate so now it's cool it's and reduce the opacity little bit opacity little bit okay cool again go to the dolphin PST and take any another one the same thing as to in the previous dolphin folder and click ok and right click it convert a smart object uh, if you do in previous the same method you will apply for this too so just uh, right click it or just hold the alt and drag the Gaussian blur to this layer to this layer so automatically is applied so now say this layer and when move to the color sorry color luminosity and reduce the opacity okay cool again go to the song which one is this one and into the same thing but it's too sorry it will be to hold it I'll place it even maybe it will be okay and right click it convert a small object do the same thing just hold alt and click the caution player and drag it to this layer 
and again go to the blend mode to luminosity normal to luminosity and reduce the opacity okay now it's, now it's looking a bit depth like it but if you do need a adjustment just adjust the dolphins by your wish of any your editing okay cool now i go to the support file folder and take this c bit image so just you need to and click ok right click it and resize it and go to the go down below the wind panel i mean uh, our pain wind panel window panel and now we need this my this only so just take your path to just take a path don't make a too accurate just a little bit select it and mask it so you can see this one will be we can get in so just for the pop properties and apply some further okay cool okay now but it's too greeny we don't want to do because uh, this like will in this image you can see all the over the tall fin on the window panel all the these things are in the blue color but this only will be in green so just what we will do for the mm, now we can adjust the dolphin because of the death we so closed so adjust it a bit upward for the more realistic or it's not looking good again you can see here uh, hold on and create create a duplicate as for this this two so now it's blue and take select the mask and select the brush and little bit erase it Okay, cool. Uh, it's cool now. But in the middle of the, I mean, under the uh, uh, water, we in the window panel look like a bit of freezing uh, symbols. So you don't, this doesn't know, know anything here. So just go to the support file and take this freezing ice now and rotate it. Is and click ok and right click it resize it and I go to the blend mode to normal to light light color and create a mask I'll take the brush shortcut for the brush is B and remove in center areas Uh, flow will be entered and opacity will be entered uh, 
amount of opacity will be 50 now plus of the edges will be a little bit for the flow so now it's cool okay now it's cool you can see the difference look here elasticity and now one more thing you need to add and by my add the store this resize it and click ok right click resize it mm, but this in front of the uh, ice I mean freezing simple uh, texture so big just tag it and begin this freezing texture now we can see this okay go but it's uh, it's too bright so just create your one layer additional layer and create a mask so sorry create a clip mask and take the brush so you can see here uh, the colors front and background is changed so so for this reset the swatch just click t and now it's black and white is the basic for the swatch so now take the black and reduce opacity to 30 now try it you can see here and take the further switch the front color and background color it's x and uh, now it's too bright uh, opacity will be 10 a little bit okay cool now it's cool perfect now it's done you can see just all the I just even just, just hold it and here you can see it's ready now but if you need uh, instead of dolphin for this uh, well just uh, you got create the smart objects so just create and go very dolphin layer this is dolphin so right click is and convert to the smart object so double click it for this layer so you can see here so I was add some more things so well uh, drag it and place it and click ok and say do the same thing uh, before they leave this just save the file and close it so you can see it's automatically changed here so you can change many image like this by the events of design so you guys you, you like this video i mean see if you like this tutorial so don't forget to subscribe my channel for more tutorials and contents like this uh, have a nice day bye